Some discharges are specifically excluded from the permit, such as sewage, as it is covered by a different provision of the Clean Water Act. Used or spent oil is also not permitted, and it may not be added to other streams covered by the permit. Rubbish, garbage, bulk dry cargo residues and noxious liquid substances are already controlled by MARPOL or other US laws which prohibit such discharges within waters controlled by VGP. There is also a number of vessel specific discharges such as photoprocessing chemicals, dry cleaning effluent, products containing tetrachloroethylene and medical waste which are not covered. Discharges already covered by other NPDS permits are also excluded. In addition to the 26 categories of discharges, VGP identifies five more general requirements. The first is material storage. This is because cargo and stored materials can become discharges through deck runoff, wind and spray. Vessels must minimize release of such materials by secure containment and good housekeeping. Any release of oil must be contained and run through the oily water separator or stored for disposal ashore. Wherever possible, toxic and hazardous materials should be located in protected areas. Any fuel spill resulting in a visible sheen on the water is a violation of VGP. Operators must implement precautions to avoid spills, especially during bunkering. The crew must be trained both in spill avoidance and containment. For oil tanker crews, extra vigilance is required. A visual sheen check must be undertaken after cargo operations and deck washing. However, it is advisable to check for sheen before, during and after operations and a record kept of who carried out the checks, when and the results. If a sheen is detected, action must be taken according to the vessel response plan. Discharges of oil, including oily mixtures, are subject to MARPOL Annex 1. Concentrations of oil must be less than 15 parts per million. All other discharges must not create visible sheen. Additionally, discharges must comply with all other US legislation that may be applicable. VGP identifies 26 categories of effluent or its sources and defines best management practices to minimize pollution by each. For deck runoff and above water hull cleaning, decks should be kept clear of residues that could wash overboard. Combings or drip trays should be used to collect oil from deck machinery. Washdowns should be minimized in port, with floating solids and foam in discharges kept to a minimum in US waters. Cleaning chemicals must be non-toxic, phosphate-free, non-caustic and biodegradable. The upper structure should be maintained to minimize rust and paint chippings. VGP requires that bilge water generation and discharge is minimized. Vessels greater than 400 gross tons may not discharge untreated oily bilge water. 
If the oily water separator is used, Marpol regulations must be observed and water discharged under strict conditions. No chemicals may be added to bilge water to reduce sheen. Vessels that sail outside US waters at least once a month may not discharge any bilge water within one nautical mile of shore. If this is not feasible for technical or safety reasons, any discharge must be recorded together with the reason why it had to be made. Ballast water regulations are complex and vary between voyage and vessel types. Vessels must restrict discharges in US waters to those essential to their operation. They must avoid uptake of ballast water in areas of known pathogens. If on an ocean-going voyage, ballast water must be exchanged in waters more than 200 nautical miles from shore before discharging into waters controlled by VGP. Vessels bound for the US must record the origin, temperature, volume and date of ballast water to be discharged in US waters wherever taken up. If the vessel undertakes a Pacific coast voyage less than 200 nautical miles from shore, ballast water must be exchanged 50 nautical miles from shore in waters more than 200 meters deep. Vessels with no ballast water on board or empty tanks must use salt water flushing in mid-ocean to ensure treatment of any residual sediments or water. Some waters, such as parks and marine sanctuaries, are federally or state protected and may ban discharge completely or impose extra restrictions. Ballast tanks may not be cleaned within waters controlled by VGP, nor may the sediment be discharged. Many anti-fouling hull coatings contain biocides toxic to aquatic life. Vessel operators should use coatings with the lowest possible biocidal release rates. Coatings must not contain chemicals banned for use in the US. In particular, the use of tributyl tin, or TBT, is banned under VGP. Vessels should have an anti-fouling system compliance certificate on board. Fluorinated aqueous film forming foam, or AFFF, used for firefighting, contains persistent, non-biodegradable chemicals. It may only be used in emergencies. If the vessel sails outside the territorial sea more than once a month, maintenance and training discharges of AFFF must take place outside waters subject to VGP. Within waters subject to VGP, a non-fluorinated foaming agent should be used when possible. Boiler blowdown normally involves the release of contaminated water below the waterline.